memories of Starsky and Hutch. What do you remember about the show? You had the blonde-haired guy and the dark-haired guy. Right. And, uh, right. you know, the car, the General Lee that they had was incredible. And the General sister, Lee? sister, Daisy Duke, uh, no, Boss no, Hawk. No, 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 Owen. That was, um, that was, uh, that was Dukes of Hazzard. follows the beats of a typical romantic comedy in that they don't really get along at first, they start to get along, they break up, they come back together for a better union than ever. But in this case, it's two straight guys. How you doing, Captain? I believe you two know each other. Hey, why don't you do me a favor and go get yourself another perm and let the grown-ups talk? <laughs> for your information, my hair is naturally curly. No, it's not. Touch it. Why are you touching him? Captain Dobie assigns us to be partners, and uh, like a traditional buddy movie, we don't get along in the beginning. You two deserve each other. You're partners. I think Starsky and Hutch were, were friends. Uh, kind of, they liked each other, they trusted each other. I don't trust anyone, um, not for a second, but uh, I do like him. You're late. I've been since 8. 8 o'clock? I didn't even know this place opened at 8. I play Huggy Bear, and Huggy Bear is the player that keeps the, you know, the streets and the police and the real world connected. Hey, look what the wind blew in. At the same time, I'm the only type of character that can, you know, venture into all kinds of worlds and come back and remain me. Finkel wants some Finkel, get to him, huh? Come on, do it. He means a kiss. We're doing little voices undercover. <laughs> oh, that's a sweet little pucker. Can I get you to a drink? Johnny Red Neat, okay? okay? Do it. Mm -hmm. Do it. All right. And you? Do it. Bacardi and Cola, do it, do it. Okay. What was that? You just stole my voice. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You gotta come up with your own voice. Yes, yeah, Snoop's in the movie. Snoop's great. He plays Huggy Bear. There's gonna be a big Coke deal in Bay City. Interesting, and uh, who would this little bird be? Look, man, I'll lay it out for y'all to play it out. All right, what does that mean? I think Snoop, just kind of his whole look and, you know, his style of dress uh, that they have for this movie, really flamboyant, is perfect for him. Snoop doesn't walk, he flows, he glides. I think Snoop is on a one-man mission to immortalize the 70s pimp on celluloid, and he's doing an incredible job of it. He loves it. I'm gonna bring Huggy Bear back. Yeah, watch. When he leaves the set, he'll say, look up, Pippin's out of here. This is Pippin, man. Huggy Bear, I just find him. I just wanted to bring some additive flavors to the Huggy Bear character, because I felt like he would show up on TV, you know, put a little bit of imping with the pimping to make sure it look all the way fly. When we were younger, Huggy Bear was basically the coolest guy on TV at the time, you know? Snoop seemed to me like the logical choice, because he is the coolest guy. I can dig what you're saying, Mr. Chowdhury. Those gentlemen you speak of, They'll no longer be a problem. This is my neighborhood. People tend to forget that. Yeah, well. Thank you very much, Huggy. You are a great man. Be gone, little Indian. <laughs>